Hello, my name is Jenny Robson and I'm the founder of Roots and Branches Limited. And today I'm going to talk to you about compliance and legitimacy. Your business is legitimate if it's compliant. In trade terms, this means that you're compliant with the local laws and regulations set by the government in your own country and also in the export destination country. And you have fulfilled the requirement of trade agreements when exporting your products or services. If you're an exporter, you need to clearly understand the laws that govern international trade in your sector. This is really important in order to avoid risk. Failing to comply with trade rules, even by accident, can lead to some serious consequences and you can find yourself subjected to fines, audits, seizures, inspections, investigations and loss of the market access. In worst cases, imprisonment. Therefore, when exporting, it's really crucial that you get the paperwork right. Missing or inaccurate documents increases your risk of delays, extra costs or can prevent your product from being exported. You are responsible for ensuring that all export documentation is properly completed and is sub submitted to customs authorities in a timely manner. You should have a clearly written contract between yourself and the buyer, including details of exactly where goods will be delivered. You may need specific documentation to get the goods through customs to work out the correct duty and tax charges. You may also need separate documentation to cover the costs of goods insurance during the journey. Many companies use INCO terms. INCO terms developed in 1939 by the International Chamber of Commerce are widely used in international commercial transactions and help to predefine commercial terms such as terms for insurance, carriage of risk and loss. The contract should set out where goods have been delivered, it should cover who is responsible for every stage of the journey, including customs clearance and what insurance is required. You may want to include things such as where the goods are being delivered, who arranges the transport, who is responsible for insuring the goods and who handles customs procedures. INCO terms do not address the consequences of breach of contract or liability. It's therefore important that you have a clear contract between you as the seller and your buyer, in addition to using INCO terms. There are several advantages of using INCO terms. As they stand today, the 11 main terms help buyers to communicate the provisions of a contract in a clear way. They reduce risk of misinterpretation and they cover everything from transportation costs, insurance and liabilities. If you have any more questions about compliance, we are more than happy to assist you. Please visit our website www.rootsandbranches.com for more help and information. Thank you.